Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, so um, I'm going to do my last three de-stashes de -stashes for now because um, I meant to get out the boxes yesterday, but it's Passover uh, tomorrow and I had to go to my mother's and help her set up. So um, I don't know if I'll have time to get to the um, post office today. If not, it'll definitely be first thing in the morning. Um, on my way to, um, I'm going to be working at my friend's law office again, so I'll do it on my way in, um, if I don't have time this afternoon. Anyway, so I'm just going to do these last three, um, these are graphic 45, um, also I'll throw in other stuff as I see them. Um, the first lot is going to be, um, $65 shipped, the second one is $55 shipped, and the third one is $45 shipped. Okay, so this is um, Graphic 45, um, and it's just miscellaneous pages like that, and it's $65. Okay, so um, first this, because um, I thought it would match the colors and stuff. This is um, satin. It is a zillion, no, it's only 25 yards. Let's see how much there is. It's a lot. So if you make flowers or something... These would probably be nice to use. I don't know. Okay. So then in this lot, you're going to get um, two of the um, tags for uh, the Steampunk Debutante Collection. Let's see the back looks like. Okay. So let me just pull this chair over here because I'll put it all back together so that I'm not wasting your time. And then there's two sheets from the Renaissance collection. There's this sheet here. And then the frames. Um, here's some Lady's Diary. You get the tag and border page. Um, a couple of these. You can use either side. Nope, I'm going to take that back. Three sheets of these. The sheet. The sheet. Another one of these sheets. And then the sheet here. Which, as we all know how much I love that because of the teacups and stuff. Okay, and then you get the um, Times Nouveau. I always wonder what they think when they're putting stuff on the back of the paper. Some of it makes sense to me, some of it not so much. Yeah, this is all Times Nouveau because it's got like the um, crossword puzzle kind of thing going on. And cherries. Really big into the whole cherries thing. And here's cherries with the crossword puzzle. I ha I'm not keeping count of how many pages turns. I'll count it in a second. the whole collection. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That can't be the whole collection. Or maybe I'll count it. Whatever it is, it's at least 11 double-sided sheets. I don't know. This is um, from the French Country Collection. This sheet here. And on the back is that. And then the borders sheet. And the back looks like that. I'm telling you, there are like pieces here and there. 
This is a uh, Sweet Sentiment Collection. This is really good for fussy cutting, I think. Ooh, this is even better. I love, I love purple. I think purple's so pretty, and I never really thought about it much until I started doing um, scrapbooking. Can I don't really do scrapbooking? I don't really know what I do. I copy people, that's what I do. I see something that looks fun and interesting and I want to try it. And then I get kind of caught up in the whole thing. This is lavender, I don't know if you can tell by the thing. And this is, oh yeah, this is all over the place. Okay, so these were sweet uh, sentiments. That's sweet sentiments. This is from the um, Secret Garden paper. A tag sheet. And here's some more of the French country. And then we have um, some Wizard of Oz. There's two sheets of this. So you'll have that one with the hearts, and then you can use the other sheet to use the hearts. And then, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. Okay, so that's the Magic of Oz. And then we have some paper from the Nutcracker Sweet Collection. shoes. Okay, so there's this Nutcracker Suite. Some pages from that. And then there's a few pages here from the Old Curiosity Shop. There's a page of that flying pig that everyone seems to like. And then there's two of these sheets here. Of those and then there's a brand new um, 12 by 12 of the mother goose along with um, the what are these called double-sided cardstock so you can make flowers okay so that again is $65 shipped and that's just a mishmash of paper. <laughs> Craft and forty five paper. All right, and the ribbon. So that's sixty five. The next one, which is fifty five, comes with this roll, which I can't tell. It looks kind of light blue to me. It could be gray, it could be silver, it could be a very, very, very pale lavender. I have no clue. I think I got this in a D stash. So I can't even tell you exactly how much is left as far as the ribbon goes, but there is quite a bit in there. Um, so you, get, you start with that. And this one, this is 55, this includes the Les Cirques collection, which I love. And if I had anything I could possibly do, like I would fussy cut these clowns out in a heartbeat, but Clowns scare the crap out of me. So I can't do it. I just can't make myself do it. See how funny. This is also part of the same collection, but it's like... I don't know, it just doesn't seem to make sense with it. But what do I know? And then on the other side. Death to That's pretty interesting. I like that. And 
and this is just blue. What is this one called? Le Cirque Extravaganza. See now, I'm not seeing the extravaganza here, but you know what? Again, who am I? Nobody. And then the tags that go with it. And the border sheet that goes with it. And the um, greatest show on earth. These are cut out tags. This would be a really fun one to do a, a mini um, with, I mean. And then the stamps. Okay, so that's Les Cirques. I'll put that back on top. Okay. And then this is... Um, Halloween in Wonderland. So you get the tag sheet. Uh, uh. Sorry, I don't want to scare you. Keep up. Bumpkins and time flies. Okay, so that one is the Alice in Wonderland, Halloween in Wonderland. Sorry, Halloween in Wonderland. Okay, then this one is Happy Haunting Collection. A lot of these have retired. They are no more. You have sunflowers. What does that have to do with it? I don't know. This reminds me of Webster's Pages. For some reason, I can't just wrap my brain around it. And I know there must be some rhyme and reason to it, but I don't know what it is. And you know what? I'm too old to figure it out. So I'm going to leave it alone and leave it up to you guys who know a hell of a lot more than I do. And then last but not least on this collection is this one, which is really cute. Okay, so that's the Happy Haunting. Then this one is the um, Boardwalk. And this one comes with um, some 8.5 by 11 and the 12 by 12. So you get this one. First, I think this is the first page. Really? Like nobody calls. Cata Cata Mat Mass. I wonder what that means, Cata Mat Mass. Like I have no clue. It's usually someone trying to sell me something. I don't know how they got the idea that I like to spend money. <laughs> Sorry. I don't even know why I find that humorous. Okay. So then, then there's this, which is a 12 by 12, which would be fun to cut out the pieces. This is called Life's a Beach. Yes, it is. And then you have uh, the seahorses on the other side. And then you have some uh, women with big hats and dogs. There's two of these. So you can use one side like this. 
which I can't read what it says, but they're cute for like the bottle cap things, I think maybe. And then this. And then there's two of these. Okay, so that is the boardwalk one. And last but not least, in this lot, the $55 lot, you get this is Sweet Sentiments. Yeah, Sweet Sentiments. So it's this page. So if you're interested in any of these lots I'm going to be showing you, if you could just tell me, you know, I want the $65 one, or I want the $55 one, or I want all three. Ooh, that'd be nice. <laughs> no, I'm um, so that I know which one, because I'm really confusing myself, and I'm not being at all organized when it comes to this. You guys are amazing when you do your destashes. I don't have a clue. All right, so that was the lot with the, for $55. Now this one is $45, and it comes with this um, satin ribbon, which has the, um, what does it have, wire on the end. And it's supposed to be 45 feet long. I don't know, it's a lot. There's a lot there, that's for sure. Okay, and this one has, let's see, it has the curtain call one. Which I think is wicked cool. I have one myself because I, I like it. So it comes with the sheet. Or maybe it should have been this one as the first. What's the difference? Yeah, I think you're right because it says curtain call there. And there's this one, and on the back. Really scary looking eyes, or they could be peacock feathers. I'm going with eyes on this one. Only because I just saw a scary movie and it had eyes in the uh, forest. Oh yeah, it was called The Forest. Not as good as you would think. Especially with all the people that were in it that were kind of famous. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that great. Um, New York State. Okay, so they're dancing. Very nice. I like this one too. Yeah. I'm going to use it for that. Rudolph Valentino, not that I'm old enough to know who that is, I don't have a clue. Was he like, what, the fifth president of the United States? I don't remember. <laughs> I know I'm old. I know who he is. God damn it. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't swear, right? That's bad. And then the postage. Yes, the closest step. And the tickets. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, this one is um, Graphic 45 Craft Reflection Creation. Collection. And. And I know this is going to come as a great shock to many of you, since the name of it is Craft, um, but it's Craft. <laughs> so it's one-sided in a sense, because there's only a pattern on one side, but then the other side is all craft paper. So really, well, it could go either way. It could go either, either way. Kind of strange, right? I don't know. Again, I'm like the worst salesperson ever. I should be saying, this is unbelievable. If you only knew up front and close what this looks like, you would be just drooling all over this paper. But I'm not going to say that. Although I really do like this. And this is, as you can imagine, my absolute favorite paper in the world. I don't know. Why am I showing you the back? It's craft paper. I'm not going to do that ever again. 
Of course, there's only two sheets left. <laughs> Better late than never. Okay, so then that's the craft collection. And then we have a communique, which I love. So you get, these do not punch out if you have to cut them. It's kind of weird. I made um, one of those wallet minis using this paper, and oh my god, it's, it's, I think, you know, I'm not really one to, you know, say nice things about what I do, but um, I thought that one came out really well. Oh yeah, because see, I used this in the center, so when all the flaps opened, it was this that showed a camera. I'm not going to break them up because it's going to be too confusing for me. You know, it isn't one of these, oh, okay, I'll take a one from this lot and one from that lot and two from over here and can I have that piece of paper? It's going to be just the lots as I've shown them to you. Um, 45, 55, 65. I, I really, to be honest with you, can't. I, I would get so confused. It's bad enough I have to remember the, the prices without having to remember which papers go with which papers, you know, which lots. So these lots have to stay the way they are. Um, that's the same thing as, you know, like the other ones. Um, and, you know, I can't start breaking them apart because it's just too hard to keep it together. Um, this is Mother Goose, which comes with um, a couple of 6 by 6s And then it comes with some 8 by 8s Remember when I did that mini album with that during a snowstorm? I did a video showing it to you. That was the first time I ever made like a real like hard to do with like cascading section and a, another section that was just paper and just all kinds of pocket, like everything. It was so much fun to work on. But that was also because I was afraid that my roof would cave in. This was last winter and I wanted to use as much paper as I could before it went. Because I really thought I would lose all of it. And that was back when I really was, like, addicted to this stuff. Now, yeah, not so much. But I really do love the Mother Goose. I love the colors. I love the idea of it, the whimsy. And you really can do quite a bit with it. That's why I have so much of it, I think, because I just love it. Okay, so that's the Mother Goose, and that comes with some of the 8x8s eight eight and a couple of six by sixes. And then the last but not least, Bohemian, which I really love um, for the colors. Not that it really has a whole lot to say. Good times, wish you were here, memories, wish list. friends I'll put all these back together okay so that is that's it for right now I have another one um, but I'm not gonna do it right now I have to get I have to get what I have out and then I can continue because I still got more believe it or not all right guys take it easy bye